another beautiful morning in Chiang Mai. Um, apparently weekend markets are a huge deal here and they're only open until like 9 a.m. which is unfortunate because that's usually when I like to leave the apartment. So I am on my way to go check it out. It's supposed to have like food and clothes and little knickknacks everywhere. So I should probably be paying attention to the route too so I can remember it for next weekend. But excited to show you guys. Wrong. The morning market is not the big one, it's the evening market. Um, I got corrected after I turned the video off. But the morning market is pretty cool too. They have all kinds of, as you can see, they have all kinds of like fresh foods everywhere. Um, trinkets you can buy, clothes, flowers, like everything. Um, we are not exiting the morning market to go and check out a place that'll make some fresh on the spot pad thai because I'm like obsessed with that stuff. So. Good morning. We are heading to Purdue, Chiang Mai, um, Chiang Mai Gate. We just got a bunch of goodies from the morning market and went to a Japanese bakery to get some more goodies. And now we want some more goodies. So we're going to the gate where there's a lot more options. And I'm probably gonna see if I can snatch up like a fruit smoothie or something and maybe find some good breakfast. But we shall see, let me show you guys what it looks like. Ovens everywhere. Okay. <laughs> My mother in law. Wanna go say hi? No, what up? One bye. No, I was out of the front of the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This one, this is the big one. It's a huge market in here. already touched is that Ty is love Ellie because she's a baby and because she's got the blonde hair blue eyes and I have oh, it's okay it's okay <laughs> you can talk um, we were walking into the the market and a woman said Suwei Ka I'm probably not saying that right Suwei Ka and um, this 
awesome man that I'm walking with is kind of teaching me a little bit of Thai and I guess that means beautiful. So now I know what people are saying when they look at Ellie and they say Su Wai Ka. So, Thai lesson. some noodles at a noodle shop that I somehow managed to keep missing. Um, amazingly nice people. They absolutely adored Ellie. I will be definitely going there. It only cost me 35 baht for two bowls of like two big bowls of food. 35 baht is like like a little over a dollar for two big meals. We are on our way to the night market. Um, the one that I thought was this morning, but <laughs> it wasn't. So the one that we went to this morning was actually quite small. And the one that we're going to this evening is supposed to be pretty big. So I'm going with a group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I'm told that it's pretty awesome and that 200 baht will get you a long ways. And 200 baht is like... Just a few dollars, it's not that much. So, pretty excited. It's quite the walk, but I'm excited to show you guys what's up with the markets in Chiang Mai. This is the night market in Chiang Mai. You can also just like go all the way to the end. We got everybody, huh? All right, we got everybody. Keep walking. Quite my group. I want to look at stuff, so I'm going to turn the camera off, but it goes on forever. <laughs> Food everywhere. It smells so good here. We're loitering. <laughs> We're loitering. We got those It's crazy here. It's like New York City traffic. But but in a very condensed space. Mm. 
Sorry, getting a lot of back here. Not very tall. Hello? How much? Hey, what about all the other ones? It's so pretty. Alright, we're all back. Let's keep moving. It's finally starting to unclog down here. Those cute. I probably shouldn't be leaving. Quite a while, um, and Ellie is just totally passed out. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> to avoid the crazy traffic of Saturday market. Like, it's really crazy. <laughs> we are now riding a, what's it called? Red truck, see long. Just a red truck. Back to the apartment. This is Saturday night traffic, it's insane. Sleep on my 